I think when we started and we got married, I was like, yeah, we should have two kids. And she's like, yeah, we should have four kids. <laughs> and so we know we have five kids. Yeah. <laughs> so we know who won that one. Yeah, I think a lot of times we get a lot of couples go, hey, we've got a big decision on the horizon. No matter how long you're gonna be married, you're gonna face real big decisions. Should we change jobs? Should yeah. we move? Like, what school should our kids go to? And the process of trying to flush that out, I wouldn't say is like, a, well, if you do these three steps yeah. and it's all real, <laughs> because there's emotions in it, there's friends in it, there's, you know, like, there's a lot of factors that play into each one. And specifically for us, like we were pastors for a really long time. I was on staff at, at a number of churches and, and really, I was like 37 and I was like, I think I want to do this entrepreneurial thing because, you know, there is a clock and a window that you go, if I don't take this jump now, is it going to be healthy yeah. for my family? Yeah. We might miss it. And so I think, you know, uh, we did a lot of jumping around and trying stuff in our early younger days. And then, you know, we settled for a season, had the kids, did that. For like 10 years. For, yeah, yeah. For a while. For 10 years, yeah. which was really good. Yeah. Like <laughs> be, being very adventurous people, like we needed some yeah. grounding. We needed like a season with a job, with benefits yes, and like predictability, nine to five, yeah. like all those things. But it was just that thing. There was a stirring in me and there was a stirring in, in her and that, you know, I go and I say, hey, what do you think about this? And it, it's a long process, right? right. It, but then God starts to speak to me and then you had your journey. So talk about kind of your journey in that side of things. Yeah, I think the stint that we had, the 10 year planting, dropping anchor in the same place was so good for us and we needed that. But the last couple years that we were there, we both started to sense just an invitation from the Lord to do something new. We knew the winds of change were blowing and it was our choice to either say yes and go on another adventure or we could say no and stay right where we were. And it was, I mean, when I say it was years that I resisted, <laughs> years of praying and seeking, this was not like a, yeah, I think we'll do that. It was right. a long time of resisting and then praying and really trying to wrap our heads around what this would look like for our family and asking for confirmation. I think that's really important. Just really making sure this is something that the Lord is inviting you into and not just a restlessness. And God really made it clear. Um, and we had several things we asked him like, Lord, if this is you, just make this line up, make open the way for this to happen. And he did and made it really clear that it was time for a big change and that this was him. And so we said yes, and we jumped again. And it wasn't easy. It, it's still, it, you know, there are highs and lows on any adventure. There are highs and lows. Um, but I think what is so incredible is that it's brought us closer together for sure. Yeah, I, I think, I think what's nice on a jump like this is there's a there's a huge faith element, yeah. right? And there's also a calculated risk element. Mm -hmm. There's risk, you don't want to take that, you want to take a calculated risk. And so some things you say, God, bring clarity yeah. and show us, what is it that you want to do? Okay, there's a job on the other side, or there's people we know, or this looks right. Now, we think these things will happen on the other side. Inevitably, they don't all happen. Like. Yeah things that you didn't expect to happen will happen. So in that, you have to really be careful on the backside of the decision not to be like, well, this is the worst decision we've ever made. <laughs> you have to let it play out. You have to trust God. You have to kind of lean in and give it some time yeah. when you make a large decision like that because the natural inevitable thing will be like, ah, this is hard, this isn't easy, let's just turn around and, and either go back or what do we do? And I think you just have to trust. If you felt like God told you, you have to cling to that as you work through and kind of, I always like to say, kind of build the plane as you're falling from the sky, you know? <laughs> you have to trust him to get yeah. you to the other side. Yeah, I think in any big decision, someone is probably gonna be more ready for the risk. Someone else is gonna be more apt to say, hey, let's just hold, and like she said, it took years. Yeah. It took years. <laughs> so that's years of her wrestling down with God and having conversations with me. But it's also years of me understanding her wiring, hearing her concerns, and going, okay, God, like I need to listen to my helpmate, my partner, my teammate, my best friend. She's got these feelings that they're genuine and they're real, and I need to not just wait them out and hope that she changes her mind, but really listen while I'm praying and listening to her 
to help make the best decision for our family and wait till she feels like she's in a good spot, you know, enough of a good spot to jump out into some kind of risky next big adventure. And I think ultimately it was just the sense of peace. I was just praying for a peace that if this is you, like I know the peace of God and I'm gonna follow that and I need to feel that if this is from you. And he gave that. <laughs>